and welcome to episode one on the Ludic SMP. I hope you guys are having an awesome day, and I really hope you guys enjoyed episode zero. That was something different to what I normally do, and it was really cool. Now, between episodes, I started going to move out to my base. As you can see, I have not yet done that. Now, the reason me not doing that is because I want to do some exploring, I want to get some, a few diamonds together, and I want to be able to do some shopping. So what I've done is I've got myself a few diamonds together, if we look in my pocket. Uh, I've still got five left. I bought myself some shulkers. I went and found some dark oak, which is really cool, and I found some golden carrots along the way as well, which is beautiful. And I was going to head in here, is there anything other than shulkers for sale in here, because I kind of want something else. Um, yeah, I bought the diamonds in here, I bought the shulkers in here, I got the, the shulker shells, four for a diamond, which I think is a bargain, considering they're selling the boxes for one diamond each. Mm hmm So, we also got the bookshop, which we'll be frequenting at some point, because we don't have any villagers yet, Reston Robbo has got a bookshop on here. And then we got Carol Oki's, uh guardian temple shop which has got like intact which we're gonna need a lot of these the plans i have for my my world uh for my build sorry are massive when it comes to using this sort of stuff potions we could possibly use some of them maybe i don't know um presmarine we're not gonna really need any of that but we probably will need sea lanterns at some point and the one diamond has stacked so that's pretty good so what we're going to do now is we're going to go gather our stuff from our house. We are going to go and start now making our way over to our base. But I'm not going to do that on video. I am actually going to do a stream of me doing that. And if you want to check out the stream, guys, it's Teddy Legend Gaming over on Twitch.tv. And I'll catch you guys after the stream. Alrighty, so here we are over at our base area, and as you can see over my shoulder, I have got a head, which means unfortunately I did die. If you missed the stream, it was a creeper. Of course it was. What else would it be? But on the positive side, we've got ourselves some tree planted over here. We have also got a wandering trailer being a pain in my butt. And we've got ourselves another portal set up already. And we've got a bit of sugar cane down there already as well. So we can start getting our thing and stuff and things sorted out for a um, enchantment table. That's the one, Teddy. Well done. Um, got to go do, remove them guys in a minute. But what else I've been doing is not really all that much, I have to say. I did go back over to shopping. And I went and visited a Nifty Rats surplus store. And grabbed myself a sword and a pickaxe. Because I can't go without a Fortune 3 pickaxe with efficiency and mending. Because why would I? Um, it's also starting to get dark. But I'll get over to that bit in just a moment. After I have slept the night away. And now we slept the night away. We can see that we have got some netherrack over here. Now, the reason we've got the netherrack is because we are going to be building a little bit of a ranch. Yeah, you heard me. We're building a ranch out here. This is kind of the perfect kind of area. Kind of got a prairie feel going on to it. So I figured building a ranch in here would work quite nicely. So over this side, I've got an area for animals. We're going to, we're going to put up a barn. We're going to have, like cows and sheep and all that good stuff over here and then over this side is a slightly bigger area um it's also not going to be flat and we're also going to be putting crop fields over here primarily wheat because well that's what you'd grow in the prairie for making corn flour and all the rest of the stuff you know that sort of stuff and then we've got this little inlet here which we're actually going to dig out and make into a proper inlet and actually have a water source coming all the way through to around right about here which will be quite convenient. In fact, it might come up higher, will it? I don't know. I'll figure that out when I start putting the water in. But what I'm going to do now, guys, I am going to go and do a little bit more mining because we need to do some more mining. Uh, I've got leads in there. I also got some dirt that I bought over from my starter base because obviously we need to start thinking about getting our fields sorted out. So I might start getting that done as well. well that could be a really good shout. We can start getting some crops going. And then when it comes to what's going to go into our our ranch over here, we are going to have um, a few villages over there for crop trading and all that sort of stuff. And then we're going to have a town. Now, the hardest thing about this is going to be building the town. Because we're going to have to do a little bit of terraforming the area, which, you know, this is Teddy we're talking about. This is a standard thing that Teddy does. Terraforming is what we do. 
So we're going to terraform this area out. We're going to level it off a little bit. And we're going to basically build a town, a gold rush town. Because we're in a mesa biome. There's gold everywhere. And if we were in the uh, old days of the Americana, we would be, in fact, building a gold rush town to put in here. So we can uh, go gold mining. So that is exactly what we're going to do. And I even got a little plan that we're going to have a road kind of wander straight through past our mine here. And that's going to be the official, like, town mine entrance. And then if we come over here, we're going to need some TNT for this to finish this off. But there's this massive crater over here that I want to dig out a bit more. And I want to put, a, like, a staircase, like, a ramp thing that comes down into it. Because I think that would be really cool. Um, there's also this really random water glitch thing going on here, which I don't know if I'm going to keep it yet or not, but if I touch it with any kind of blocks, it's going to break it and it's going to be a mess. So I think we're going to have to get rid of it. I really do. And then we're going to block this bit in somehow, probably put some sand or something in there, gravel, or just come along with some stone around the bottom to start with and then just build it up around the outside. But we're going to have to f fill that in somehow. But yeah, this is going to be the, the, the big expansive mine digging area and we're going to have it so we have a massive crane somewhere going over into this thing digging out the gold and all the other good stuff so that is our plan and that is what we're going to be doing so you have to leave me to it for a little bit i'm going to crack on get some more wood collected and figure out how we're going to do the path works how figure out how we're going to do other bits and bobs um, I kind of feel like I want to use some packed mud somewhere along the line because packed mud would work out here quite nicely because it wouldn't be too much contrast in colour. I feel like path blocks might be too much contrast, but we might end up using those as well for hi hiding lights underneath. So, anyway, let me get on with this and I'll come back to you guys in a bit. Okay, so after a bit more work and doing stuff and things, we have got ourselves a bit more progress to show. Now, I haven't got a lot of progress to show over here because I've run out of dirt. Now, the three and a half stacks I had did not go very far, not very far at all. But what I have done as well is I've been out hunting down other supplies and we have in fact found ourselves a jungle that's not very far away. So I decided to bring back some jungle trees or saplings at least so we can start growing our own jungle trees. And I need the jungle trees, and I need them as big as possible. And I'm sure you're thinking, why do you need jungle trees as big as possible? Well, let me step inside, and I'll show you exactly why. Because we've been rather busy in here. We have got ourselves a few friends. And our friend here is the one that wants the jungle wood, or at least in the form of sticks. And the reason for that is because we are going to be buying weakness arrows from this young man. And those weakness arrows are going to be used to cure zombie villagers so we can get ourselves la 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 trades much, much lower. Now, our other friends, we have got our farmer who wants wheat and eventually will sell me golden carrots, which is very, very handy as well. I've got myself a librarian. I was looking for mending, but then I got looting three at 18 emeralds. So... I was like, you know what, we're going to need bookshelves anyway. We're going to need a lot of things. So I thought, you know what, that'll do. That'll do for now. And then we got ourselves a stonemason who is going to be selling us some dripstone. And we need the dripstone because we want to get a lava farm going and we want to get a water farm. Well, not a water farm, but we want to get dripstone, basically. So I know this is blocks and you can't reverse engineer them, but it's come back to the fact that I have got one pointy. And there's always the opportunity to find more. So, what we're going to do now is actually we're going to head over to the shopping district. We're going to take our temporary ender chest. Uh, we're going to empty our pockets of anything we don't need to take with us. And we are, in fact, going to head over to the shopping district. Because Nifty Rat has given me a little something to purchase. And here we are over in the portal room, and I got told about this earlier today. I didn't know this even existed, and that is this little pressure plate here going into this water elevator. And this has got a mail room upstairs, which I didn't know was here, and I'm really quite happy it is here. And apparently, yes, we have got a shock box full of dirt. Now, 
yes, I got the dirt because we actually need the dirt. Uh, let's put down this. Let's grab a couple of these diamonds out of here. And in fact, I said Nifty had given me these. Um, in fact, it is a combination of Nifty and Karaoke. So it's one diamond for you and uh, one diamond for you. And that is our payment for a full shock box of dirt, including said shulker, which is an amazing deal. And I'm very, very appreciative of said deal. So we're now going to head back to the base and we hopefully should have enough dirt to uh, get our stuff and things done. Go check on make sure it's all there. Nifty one of these ones is a bit crafty sometimes. There we go. We're good. <clears throat> right. I did start recording for that, didn't I? Okay, so we have officially run out of dirt. I am now going to start getting a little bit of this hoed out so we can actually start getting some crops planted. Although I am a little bit shy on the crops at the moment and I think primarily I only want to plant in the wheat for now simply because that is what our villager buys. So that's probably going to be a good shout. I also want to start thinking about getting a little bit of this action going on as well so we can start getting this place lit up a bit better than it is currently because at the moment it's a little bit of a mob trap and we do not want the mob trap situation on our hands so just put this pent down here put the fence post on the top like so and then we drop a torch these will get turned into lanterns eventually um i don't want it to be torches because torches are just ugly so eventually we'll switch these all out for lanterns and you won't see them too clearly because we're going to have another fence that goes around the outside where all this is at we're going to have a fence go around the outside as well um and we're going to have lanterns spread around that as well but that's going to be actually probably an oak fence or a spruce fence it's not going to be dark oak we're only going to use the dark oak in here because that makes sense for that because the, uh, the, the colour of the dirt versus the colour of the dark oak are really quite similar. So it would make sense you've got kind of dirty um, wood in the crop area. Because that would uh, naturally get dirty from harvesting and replanting and all that good stuff. So, yeah. But what we got to do now, we are going to have to speak to um, Karaoke and Nifty. And try and get some more dirt. Because we are completely out um also means we're gonna have to go find ourselves some more diamonds because we are running a little bit short on the diamond front so i might go do a mining sesh i am going to try and get a bit more of this filled out i'm not going to hoe it all the way i do need to get all the water in place i haven't finished doing that yet either so it's going to take me a while to get this finished but this is an absolutely massive project and i have even been outside of the trim border with my shovel and i've actually been out and collected some of my own dirt as well i grabbed another half inventory of dirt before my shovel needed repairing and that has been used as well so yeah we're going to, have to go get ourselves well one a better shovel because that's going to be a very very important thing to us and two a load more dirt so let me cut away let me get as much of this done as we can um, I'm also going to need to get some kind of lighting source to go in here. So I want to put this path in at the same level as this. Um, but I want to have hidden lighting underneath it. So I might go to the sea lantern place and get some sea lanterns because that's probably the easiest way of doing that. But then again, I'm spending more diamonds. So we definitely need to go diamond mining again. Um, I can't wait to get a shop open because that's going to be very advantageous once we eventually get one but yeah let me cut away i'll carry on doing this and i will come back to you guys hopefully with another decent progress update Alrighty, so i have just come out to uh this jungle out here to try and find myself a little bit more dirt slash grass to finish off our um thing and i found two things of interest out here obviously i found the jungle temple but first what we're going to do is we're going to go over here and we're going to check out this broken portal and to see what we can get from this because there is a chest over here obviously he says there we go um fortune efficiency could be useful i'm going to take the flint because we're going to need that at some point but otherwise i'm not really bothered for what's there i'm not gonna lie this thing on the other hand this thing could be handy let me just grab a piece of grass because this could be something we need to uh, explore in here
quickly get it lit to make sure we don't get beaten up by mobs. Right, I think we're good. And I'm just going to do the whole... Thanks. Wasn't worth it. I will take the rest of the material, though, because we can always use the rest of the materials. Especially if they are free ones. And I'll grab that bit of gold there, too, because we always need extra gold. And, you know, a couple of free dispensers. Can't say no to that either, can we? Cool. So we got ourselves... Let's grab them last couple of arrows. We've got ourselves a few arrows. Got ourselves a couple of dispensers, which is very useful. And we got ourselves a couple of other bits and bobs too, which is useful. So it's now night time. That turned really quickly. Let's quickly grab our bed. Let's quickly sleep in the temple. Lovely. And we'll throw out what we don't really need, which will be the cobblestone and the mossy cobblestone. And we will go and grab ourselves some dirt. So I'm actually going to go over here where this lot is over here. Because I know there's no one actually based out this way, so this should be quite a good idea. Hi, friend. Do you want to chop? Thanks. And we've got an ocelot here as well. So I'm going to put my shocker down there, and we're going to do some skimming. And I'll come back to you guys when I get back. Okay, so after returning back from collecting our dirt slash grass, we have got this side of our farming area completely filled out, which is absolutely awesome. Um, we have now also got this side about two-thirds of the way done. We are still missing a big chunk up here, which we are going to have to go get some more dirt slash grass to fill in. But in the meantime, we are going to continue growing our crops. We continue putting in our lighting and we are going to continue doing other bits and bobs as well and what i got while i was mining is another 37 diamonds now i wish i was recording when i found these bad boys because these 37 i found three veins of diamonds while i was mining and the three veins were less than 20 blocks apart in a straight line so i must be sat on the chump border but that brings us up to a grand total of 42 diamonds right now, which is actually brilliant. And the other reason to come back over here is because we actually going to need to get ourselves some more tools. I should be making diamond ones. Yes, I know, but I'm not wasting diamonds on a hoe. So we are going to grab some uh, iron ones for now. I need the axe for getting some more wood. We need this for hoeing out the ground. And I will be doing most of that between episodes because, guys, unfortunately, I have run out of time for today's episode. I hope you've enjoyed the episode. If you have enjoyed it, hit the like button. If you really loved it, hit subscribe. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye for now.